Boom, we're back, and we have a Brock Nogi roll, and in today, Brock is rolling against Cody, the former White Belt King. Cody has a fight coming up, so that is the only reason that he's in the gym again. He's the White Belt on the left, and of course, Brock is the professor on bottom. Now, Cody has decided this is a good time to come back to the gym, and like I said earlier, it's because he has a fight coming up. So you can tell that Cody is a true fighter because he has the same discipline as the other fighters at this gym. You only want to train when you actually have a competition. There's no reason to continue training in your off-season. Now, Brock is in the deep half position, and he's constantly countering all these head attacks that Cody's going for, because any time that Cody tries to grab the head, he can rotate his hips, which is going to cause him to let go of the head so he can post on the mat. And you should believe me when I say that posting on the mat is the correct call. There have been many times where I try and go for a guillotine in this exact same position, only to have Brock turn his hips a little bit, I spike my head on the mat, and then I have a sore neck for the rest of the night. Now Brock is also transitioning to the shin of Cody. Once he's able to grab the shin, he's going to keep this shin tight against his butt, and he's going to work out to the side and start to come up and wrestle his way up. Brock decides to grab the single leg, and as he does this, Cody decides to do the monkey ritual mating call by giving him his backside and waiting for Brock to take Take advantage of him. Brock is happy to oblige and he adds a ton of pressure to Cody and then he tries to go for something risky known as the crab ride attempt. Now as he goes for the crab ride and tries to pull him back, Cody's doing a good job by keeping his butt glued to Brock's chest. If he can keep his hips on top of Brock, then he's able to spin out of this position and that was a failed takedown by the professor. Getting out of any takedown from Brock is a great accomplishment on its own. Unfortunately, he's stuck in this deep waist position. So Brock is very easily able to work his way out and he's not going to make the same mistake again. He's entering in on a shot on Cody with a nice double leg and as he goes to finish with the double leg, Cody tries to flip him over his back. But this is not going to work because it's not freestyle wrestling. Brock easily comes back on top and then it leads us into the question of the day. And my question is, how is your wrestling? About 90% of people that I meet in jiu-jitsu are terrible at wrestling or have never even attempted wrestling in their life. So let me know in the comments below what your experience is like with the great sport. Now Cody is just being hilarious on bottom because he's actually trying to get Brock and a Kimura and that is never going to happen to Brock. I've never seen him get kimura I'm sure it's happened, but Brock would rather have it break than to get kimura by this puny white belt on bottom. I mean, let's just think about it. You haven't been training, so you're going to walk into the gym, and then you want to try and Kimura the Kimura King. Now that is just hilarious. Brock is doing some great pressure by attacking the hips of Cody and slightly attacking the neck, but more so, he has a ton of focus on Cody's legs. If Cody can't move his legs, he can't shrimp, and then he can't escape these bad positions. Now Cody's trying to talk to me, but instead Brock's going to hit him with the easy mount. He's going to go over the left leg, and he's going to get an easy transition, and it looks like Cody has never once defended mount in his life. I guess that's why he's still a white belt. Now Brock is going to show everybody what they fear in their dreams and that is known as the high mount position. If Brock puts you here, you feel like you absolutely can't do anything and even if you are a white belt or a black belt, this sucks to be put in. You don't have too many options here. What I like to do is try and do the spider mount escape where I put my feet in the armpits. That's not going to work on Brock. The other option is you want to try and push off their knees and try and return to a regular mount, but it depends what Brock's mood is like. If Brock doesn't want you to move, he'll keep you there for an entire five minutes. He's being a little bit nicer to Cody and he's not going to stay in high mount, but he is going to keep a ton of top pressure and just make fun of him the entire time. Now this is where you start to realize that Brock has a pretty cool job because what Brock gets to do is he gets to teach Jiu Jitsu, collect money, and then he gets to beat students up. What is a better experience than getting paid to beat up white belts, especially if they keep coming back for it? That is a truly masochist approach to the sport, and I'm surprised that Cody decided to show up. Now Brock is putting him in the perfect mount, and that's when you have a nice bonus head going under the neck, you're able to catch the arm on the other side, and then you're going under the elbow with the other arm. Now here's a secret, if you want to know if you have good shoulder pressure, check out their head. Cody's head is turning into a tomato from all this proper pressure that Brock is applying from this crossface. He almost could get this choke despite really not having any submission, and it looks like Cody is really enjoying his time on bottom here. Thankfully for Cody, Brock is going to let this go and he's actually going to do some other jujitsu. Unfortunately, Cody's still stuck in the mount, so not much has been done, but at least he's not getting beat up from that terrible position earlier. Instead, Cody gets to get beat up by a different submission, and this submission that he's setting up is known as the typical armbar. 
Brock puts Cody in the S mount and then he's gonna roll him over to get a proper armbar finish on Cody and the entire time it was happening Cody was saying that this is a fake submission. Unfortunately only Angel is allowed to call moves fake so Cody is forced to tap out and he's going off with his last hurrah. As soon as he gets this submission he's gonna quickly charge into Brock as if he wasn't getting dominated the entire round. Unfortunately for him this brings us to the end of the roll so if you appreciate the video please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and thank you to all my current viewers and patrons. I I appreciate all of you.